thought today we would look at this frequency generator that I got from icstation.com. So some weeks ago I looked at a different frequency generator, uh, also from IC Station, um, but it was similar to this, it just had a different display and this one appears to have two, uh, two different, two separate outputs instead of one output, um, but we can test that. If you didn't see that video, I will link it up here so you can have a look. So next thing, I'm going to solder some wires on here and power it up and um, we can look on the scope and see what it's doing. And also uh, this one like the other one, I believe, yes, so has the uh, transmit and receive pins here. So it's got a serial interface, which means that you can control it from a microcontroller and um, it was a bit difficult to figure out how to do that on the last one but I know how to do it now so um, I should be able to do that really very easily. So let's get started. Okay so I've attached some wires here for power and I've put a few headers on so some uh, header pins for the serial interface and here is the output of the uh, frequency module. Now I've found the, the other one that I tested before, so we can put them side by side. So you can see that this one's slightly smaller. Um, but the main difference is this one has the backlit LCD and this one just has the three, seven segments, uh, which I believe are red. So let's let's connect up some power and have a look. Yeah, so we have a red LED display. Uh, I don't actually know how to use this yet. So let's compare the two side by side. Let's put some power on this module also. So obviously the advantage of the the LCD one is you can see the frequency and the um, and the duty cycle uh, both at the same time. Whereas this lower one here, it's only got the one display, so you have to press the the set button in order to switch between duty cycle and frequency. So I think this works. Is you press set. It says. FA1, so that's output number one, and that's the frequency, 101 hertz. You press again, you get the duty cycle for number one, which is 50%. Press again, we've got FA2, so this is the second output, which doesn't seem to have a frequency at the moment, but let's... So there we go. with the decimal point lit I think that's reading kilohertz now so that's 1.1 kilohertz so if we keep on going with the set button got aspect ratio for two it's also 50% so you can uh, rotate around all the different modes and then the up and down to control the frequency or the duty cycle so Next thing is to connect this up to the scope so that we can see what's coming out of the outputs. Okay, let me show you what I've got set up here. So I've got channel one set to one kilohertz, 
with 50% mark space ratio, 50% duty cycle, and channel 2 is set for 2 kilohertz, also 50% duty cycle. So looking at the scope we can see that, uh, so channel 1 there, so this is running at 1 kilohertz. If you look the scope is actually reading that as 1.50 kilohertz, so that's really quite precisely locked on to 1 kilohertz. And you can see the channel 2 here, which is set to 2 kilohertz, um, is free running, so at the moment we're triggered off the top trace. And um, so you can see that the second channel is completely independent. And if I switch the triggers over, so let's change to triggering off channel two. There we go. So now we're reading a frequency of 2.002 kilohertz. So that's less precise than the, than the top one, but still very close. It's only a thousandth different, isn't it? Um, so there we go. So you've got two completely independent square wave outputs from this uh, frequency generator. Now, if I, I'll just just demonstrate the um, the duty cycle as well. So if we go into channel one again, pick up duty cycle. So that's fifty percent at the moment. But let's reduce that down to thirty. So now you can see on, on the scope, uh, hang on, no, we want channel one, don't we? Channel one, let's lock on to channel one again. Okay. And So we can see now that uh, the top signal, so channel 1 is only 30% on and it's now 70% off. So you can vary the duty cycle. So the duty cycle goes from 0, which basically means off on this device, uh, from 0 right up to 100, which would be fully on. Um, and that's quite handy, so you can independently set the two channels for different duty cycles, different frequencies. Oh, incidentally, this is set up at the moment. This is two volts per division, so you can see that the output from um, this device is about four volts peak to peak. Um, so that's for a, for an input. It, the input voltage is, is five volts at the moment. So I'm just trying the serial interface, and it's, it seems a, a little little bit shaky actually compared to the other module that I had before. Um, some of the commands seem to work, so if I do S1 F 100 T, so set channel 1 frequency 100. So you might have seen there that the, um, the display changed on the frequency generator and it sent back this um, this reply down which means it accepted the parameters and you can see on the scope that channel 1 has now gone to a to a lower frequency so I can set it back again S1 F 300 T there we go so I can change between 100 Hertz and 300 Hertz I can um, change the channel 2 so S2 F 200 T. So that changed the frequency on channel 2. S2 F 100 T and back to 100 Hertz. So that works. Um, but there's also this command for changing the 
duty cycle. So um, S1 D 60 T. So change the duty cycle to 60. And that says fail. Um, but but I have that, have had that working. Yeah, so that seems to be the right format. So if I do S one D O six O T fail. So so it won't do it. But I I have had this working, and then it's just suddenly stopped working. Um, 015t was a value that was working before but now doesn't. Um, so I'm not entirely sure that the serial interface works really well. It's, I mean it certainly doesn't work as well as the uh, the other um, the earlier frequency generator. So let's try setting to 900 Hz S1 F nine hundred T. So that's a fail. S one F five hundred T. No, it just doesn't want to do it. Um, so that's all a bit of a puzzle, really. Now it's doesn't seem to be accepting any commands any longer. Yeah, so it's so it's a little bit a uh, little bit wibbly wobbly really. I just wanted to quickly note that um, when I did my first uh, video on these uh, frequency generators, I just reached uh, 200 sub subscribers and that was back in November last year. Yeah, it's now May. Um, so since May my subscribers have gone up from 200 to over 500 um, which is really very pleasing to see more and more people arriving at my channel. Um, and uh, really my channel's only been going for um, about 14-15 months now. So I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thanks very much for watching my videos. Um, I'm very pleased, you know, that there's uh, in interest in in my hobbies, and um, so um, thanks very much. Keep keep commenting, and um, let me know if you have any other ideas for me to explore on my channel. So here's to you. Cheers.